Okay, let's go. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah. Okay. You are all great. I can see that everybody here, the, the small or big or younger or uh, So it is it is a very great message is going, you know. So thank you very much from the Hindu Council of Kenya. Asada Sana. Clap on it. We want to launch it, yeah? Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. What is your part to this? Kindly, as you cycle and as you have come here today, we want to launch something with my sister. I, I, I love my sister here. We want to launch something that you can encourage your brother or your sister to talk something out, not to put something inside his or her mind, and then eventually you find out that somebody commits suicide. Is that true? Because if you don't talk about what is disturbing you, it is a time bomb inside your spirit, your soul, and your mind. We are losing young people. We are losing our nation. How many agree with me by show of hands? There is no way a young person or a grown mature person can get into drugs if, if there is not, there is nothing like a trigger to it. Is that true? Yes. It has to be a trigger. Why, why is this trigger coming? Because they don't have where to ventilate it out. They cannot ventilate what is disturbing them. You as critical mass, I'm a rider too. Can you do something about it? Can you do your brother's keeper, your sister keeper from today? Find out how they are doing. Talk to them. What is disturbing them? So that they can enjoy life. We are all created to enjoy life. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. If you cannot enjoy life, now why are you why, why were you born then? If you cannot enjoy life, find a safe space by talking to your brothers and your sister. If he or she is in trouble, talk to them. Help them. You'll save a life. Ride with a purpose. Say, ride with a purpose. Ride, ride with a purpose. Lift your hand like this. Say, ride with a purpose. Ride, ride with a purpose. purpose. You must ride with a purpose. Don't ride just for the ride. Ride with a purpose. Transform life. The way you have come here to NASA in Komarok today, there are lives which have been transformed very much. Just you just enter in there. It, just, it has transformed life. So, we, me and my sister here, and I have Nile. Where is Nile? My friend. Yeah, Nile is calm. I, I, need, I, I need to be here. Because we don't talk about this, nobody will say it. Is that true? We must talk about it. Don't ride because you are riding. Ride with a purpose. Be your brother's keeper. When your brother or sister uh, have trouble, be with them. Don't show your back on them. That's how critical it is. <laughs> Are we together? That's how critical it is. Be your brother's keeper. When you do that, we'll never get somebody being addicted into drugs. We'll never get somebody committing suicide. We'll never get somebody who doesn't want to marry. By the way, marry. If you are not married, marry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm best here. Marry. Don't, you don't do play that. around. <laughs> marry, 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 marry. Why don't you want to marry? You need to marry. You need to have your agenda. Clap for me. Clap for me. <laughs> Why don't you want to marry? It's a problem. Yeah. If you're not your brother's keeper or your sister keeper, it's a problem. Yes. Marry. Marry. Yes. Stop playing games. Marry, marry, marry. 
we want to see children and generation. Are we together? Yeah. Because it is your purpose. Yes. Yeah. And I can see marriage, married couples here, a lot, a lot just oh, smile. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Marry, don't just write without a purpose. Are we together? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so the person who is not standing here is called Nilesh. If you know the Hindu Council of Kenya, you know the history of the Hindu Council of Kenya, they have helped a lot of young people, they have helped a lot of communities, they have so many programs that are meant for, you know, growing the community and supporting the community whenever crisis occur. So for this specific event, or this specific day, Uganda home. Oi. Oi. So there's something that we realize amongst the cycling community, I mean, with the cycling community, we are obviously growing, our numbers are growing, but amongst us, we have so many people who are struggling, someone, so many people who are suffering, and the things they are encountering are things we can help them out. We don't know how, I mean, we don't know, we don't have solutions to all the problems, but the best so the best thing we can give them is an idea or an opportunity for them to just vent out whatever they are going So today we brought you to Komaro, because we wanted to launch something called Big Brother Big Sister Program. Yay! And this Big Brother Big Sister Program is basically you as a cyclist, you are somewhere where you feel like you can mentor, you can guide, you can help. You're not you're not even asking me to give any money. Much, but we are asking you to adopt somebody else guide them through life because there are so many things we want to do with critical mass but we can't do them when our brothers are sleeping hungry when our brothers and sisters are being raped when our brothers and sisters are engaged in drugs we want to plant so many trees for climate change but you cannot tell somebody who is hungry to go and plant trees we have to we have to help us our brothers and sisters and there's something else that uh, mr Douglas here shared with us and it was what cycling has been doing to the community here in Komarov. There are a lot of cyclists who have transformed their ways because of cycling. So you we have to figure out that you can walk kilometers, but if you don't have a bike, you can walk by home and you can walk 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 So this thing that we enjoy, we take, it, we take for granted, is saving somebody else, somebody else's life. So please clap for yourself for even getting this. <laughs> continue riding like this, we want the community to help other people. We want, not even physical, but anybody who's a cyclist, and you don't even have to be a cyclist to be in this program. We just want you to be, to avail yourself and adopt somebody else. Now, to adopt here to Nainyanam to home, you just allow yourself to guide this person. I gave an example of somebody who is a class 3 dropout. This person will always be afraid to apply for a job because they've never seen a CV in their lives. Your role as a big brother, big sister could be just helping them how to write a CV. You're not giving them a job, you're just guiding them. It could be a girl who is a teenager, who, who's 10 years old. She's having her period for the first time. She's here with us cycling, but she will not come for the bike race because she has her period and she has no one to talk to. So you as a lady, you are able, you're capable. You can just adopt, it doesn't take much from you. you know. So that's what the big brother, big sister program is about. It's about us as able people helping somebody else and even you yourself who is able you also need somebody who to, somebody to talk to you know sometimes we don't talk to people because we are afraid of judgment we are afraid of being laughed at but this person who you're mentoring can be your buddy you don't know so we are launching the big brother big sister program and we are we are beseeching you as a cycling community to take it up it might grow into other communities not just cycling but we just want to to spark the change the same way critical mass started with a few cyclists and we are here now hundreds of cyclists we can have a big brother big sister program that is countrywide and it is a purely volunteering thing so thank you so much for inviting me here Hello. Eh? Maybe we've just reached somewhere here. Yeah? So we were requesting after we have launched. At least we 
You just see how it is, then you go. Is that okay? 